The Loud family arrived at Royal Woods Hospital around 9 a.m. as Dr. Lloyd was checking up on Lincoln in his hospital room. The broken bone in his forearm had still had a while to go until it was healed enough to be, have the cast to come off. Two of Lincoln's back teeth would also be replaced with implants since they'd been knocked out from the fridge falling on him. And as for the hemorrhage in Lincoln's brain, it had been luckily grown, not grown any bigger as of now, but Dr. Lloyd knew it wouldn't stay like that for long. The hemorrhage would continue to grow bigger until it became fatal, and it couldn't be avoided. Once the lads entered the hospital room, they found Lincoln being examined by Dr. Lloyd, who took notice of them once they entered. Hey, said Lincoln, pointing at his family. Lloyd turned around and said, Oh, you're here. Is Lincoln doing all right? Rita asked in concern. Dr. Lloyd felt the pang of guilt rush through his spine, knowing that there would be no holding back now. He would have to tell the Loud family about what he found in Lincoln's brain. Well, there's some good news and some bad news, Dr. Lo Ro Lloyd replied with guilty manner. Lincoln's sister grew visually nervous when he said that, except Lucy, Lisa, and Lincoln's parents. They already know the idea of what Dr. Lloyd was going to say. But the rest of the family had not still been aware about the brain hemorrhage inside Lincoln's brain. What's the good news? Lori asked. The good news is that Lincoln's forearm is healing well. It should be healed enough within a week so, or so to remove the cast in his arm. He is patched up in his lungs and rib bones are slowly healing as well. But his skull has quite a ways to go, Dr. Lloyd answered. What about his brain? What part of the healing as well? Lori asked. Lloyd, Dr. Lloyd hesitated for a moment. Then he said, well, that's the bad bad news. The moment Dr. Lloyd said that, all the other girls became visibly frightened, even like, what's happened? Is Lincoln's brain not healing? Lori asked fearfully. Dr. Lloyd prepared for the worst, but then he finally broke the truth to everyone. I'm afraid that it isn't, Dr. Lloyd said. I have been meaning to tell you all what I found the other day while examining Lincoln's brain, but I re rejected to tell you all since you were all in a lot of pressure. But this is something I cannot lo longer hold by confessing. Well, but what did you find? What's wrong with him? Lori stammered, fearing the worst. Luann was far too nervous to know the rest of her sisters as she waited to tell doc what Dr. Lloyd has to say. As for Lisa, she looked more horrified than nervous. She knew right away what she was coming, and she was pretty sure that Lucy and her parents knew it as well. But Lisa didn't do anything about it. The other day before you and your family castrates arrived here, I did another CT scan on the brain at Lincoln. At first, everything looked normal. Then I enhanced the X-ray visuals. Lloyd paused for a moment, almost afraid to continue, but he knew he had to. There, there was appeared to be a small white blot showing up at the X-ray near the bottom of Lincoln's skull, just past the brainstem. At first, it might have been a system error or glitch, but upon closer inspection, I saw what it actually was. Lisa knew what was coming up next. Her siblings clearly knew at this point that they were not going to like what they were heard hearing. What is that? Lori asked fearfully. It's a brain hemorrhage, and it's getting larger each day. Because of how far down it's inside Lincoln's brain, there's no way to successfully remove it without causing further damage to his brain, possibly even killing him in the process. I, I'm really sorry to give you all the horrible news, but there's no way of curing this. I honestly don't know how I missed there's such detail after operating on Lincoln. That's because of how small it was at the time. X-rays to me and the nurses took of them after the surgery. I didn't detect it. Lloyd explained sadly. Yes, Lloyd explained sadly. I I'm sorry to tell you all this, but I estimated that Lincoln only has till the end of the month to live. Then the hemorrhage will be large enough to render him brain dead. He's not going to survive any longer than this. The loud siblings all felt their hearts skip several beats with their minds, processing everything Dr. Lloyd had just said. Safe for Lucy, Lisa, and her parents. No, 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 Th that can't be right. Lincoln has to live, Luna stuttered. I'm very sorry, but there's nothing that can be done. The hemorrhage is too far down Lincoln's brain to surgically be removed, Dr. Lloyd said sadly. Several of Lincoln Luna's sisters began sobbing uncontrollably, but as for Luann, her reaction was probably the worst out of everyone else's. She just stared over at Lincoln, now pale as a sheep's wool, and with an expression lacked by any emotion. Yet emotionless expression, tears were visible in her eyes as she took in everything Dr. Lloyd had said. Luna wouldn't even be Luann wouldn't believe what was she was hearing. Lincoln was going to die near the end of the month. Did Lisa say that she would save his life with the invention of hers? Wait, now it all made sense. Lisa had had her said her invention was going to be complete the CNI unit by the end of the month. 
until this was the reason for that. Lisa still know had a long way, but she said nothing. All of her siblings seemed to be a figure out as well, because they all glared down at Lisa with fire in their eyes. You knew it, did you? Lori growled at Lisa, who looked at the regret and said nothing. What? Too ashamed to admit the truth? Is that why you wanted your revenge in order of yours completed by the end of the month? Wasn't that it? Luna suddenly snapped angrily. Lisa still said nothing, which made her sisters even angrier, including Luann. You, you knew it all about this, did you? How? Luann thundered angrily. Hey, please keep your voices down. Our patients are sleeping. Dr. Lloyd scolded. What is this about you knowing what? What is going on here? Before Lisa could speak, her parents came forward. I think we can, I can explain that. And I have to have some explaining to do yourself, Lynn Sr. said coldly. What are you talking about? Dr. Lloyd questioned. What are we talking about? I'll tell you, Rita snapped. My daughter Lisa told us that you overheard yourself knowing about his this hemorrhage in my son's brain while he was heading for the she was heading for the bathroom. Is that true? Did you know? Dr. Lloyd was shocked. He did not even consider that anything of the louds that would have the medical room. But he put this quite quietly at this predicament. If it's true, I overheard everything, Lisa said looking just as upset as her parents. How could you keep something like this from all of us? Lori demanded. Yeah, that is so low, dude, Lana added with an angry expression. Seeing how the Lloyd was clearly backed into a corner, he had no choice but to confess everything he knew. I honestly didn't expect any of you to know what this was, but I did intend to tell you guys, but all the bad news the day before you left. But before you left, before I could inform you about it, it was also so you had many guests over, and I didn't want to cause any more despair, so I can assume what you're all going through. I'm sorry for telling you this horrible news, but this isn't the first time I had to do this, Dr. Lloyd explained. Rita and Lynn Sr. had an idea what Dr. Lloyd was saying, and given the cast rates, would have, have been devastated to hear this news at the time, and the rest of Lincoln's sisters were still on edge with their, their brother's condition. However, this still didn't accuse by the fact that Dr. Lloyd had had a crucial info on them, and this was inexcusable. He could have saved Lisa the trouble of having to tell the family by the news and just calling them after they left the hospital, yet he failed to do this. You should have told us right away, Doc, Lynn Sr. replied coldly. Regardless of the situation, yet our daughter Luther took the liberty of doing it herself. You disappoint us, Doctor, Rita added with an unhappy expression. I'm very sorry about all of this, but... Please understand that I have told you sooner, over the phone, I would have gotten the time after you left. There were so many patients I was tending to at the time, and I wasn't able to inform you of his condition till now, Dr. Lloyd explained apologetic manner. Not wanting to escalate any more of the situation than it was, Lisa stepped forward and spoke up. We might as well put it aside, because I found a way to save Lincoln, she stated. Save him? I don't understand. What do you mean? Dr. Lloyd asked, confused. I got a glimpse of that extra you were holding up in the light, and I overheard... Heard, heard you in the medical room. I'm creating a special device that could cure Franklin's brain damage, Lisa replied. She let out the fact that she was taken by the photos and the x-rays using Lori's cell phone, since it was most likely to get her in trouble for it. So Lisa did her best to cover her tracks by explaining in a different way that Dr. Lloyd would believe. As for Dr. Lloyd, he was curious to what Lisa was getting at, and he heard plenty of rumors around Royal Winterwoods about Lisa being an intelligent child progeny. But this, what Lisa told him, was was so hard to believe, even though she was a prodigy. Medical device? I don't know how we could cure something like this. A brain hemorrhage is far down in Lincoln's brain. It can't be removed surgically without causing further damage. And w would it possibly kill him? Dr. Lloyd said doubtfully. This one will, and I will explain in full detail. Lisa said, beginning to explain the CNI unit and Dr. Lloyd in full detail, and then even showed him a photo of the machine's blueprint stamp on his own cell phone. As he listened to Lisa explain the machine's primary functions on the, and on how it worked, he had to admit it sounded absolutely astonishing, but, but yet so hard to believe. Such technology like this was far too advanced to exist in the century, but Lisa was acting as if something was possible. The machine's design was similar to that of a portable x-ray machine found in the dentist chair, only with the injection needle instead of a light. And this would only take maybe about another week or so to complete. Then it'll be ready for trial use, Lisa concluded. Dr. Lloyd had no idea what to say. 
the invention of Lisa's seemed incredible, yet so hard to believe. Lloyd had heard stories of Lisa winning many Nobel Prizes in various science fairs. Throughout Lo Royal Woods for her amazing inventions, yet she had no idea what the machine was capable of working. While medical technology had quite a long way to go in the technical advancement and so-called carnal in the injection unit seemed all too far to advance for the century. Yet Dr. Lloyd had also heard rumors of how intelligent Lisa is, and if she was as smart as these rumors proved to be, maybe she had some ideas that he didn't. I honestly don't know what to say about this, Lisa. This invention of yours seems amazing, but humanity is at least century away from the medical technology of this advance. Something like this is just as impossible, Dr. Lloyd said doubtfully. Nothing is impossible if you know your science. I know this machine may seem far from our current techno medical technology today, but I can assure you this machine will work. And I have several simulations tests I did on my research on my laptop. And I believe that the machine will operate successfully. Once it's complete, I'll intend to use it on my brother to save his life. If successful, the CNI unit will revolve into medical technology around the world, Lisa explained. Dr. Lloyd looked up at Lisa's parents and asked, Are you two aware of what your daughter is suggesting here? Yes, Rita nodded. My daughter is a very intelligent child, and I believe it deserves the chances that saved my son's life. I know it seems crazy, but if there's still any hope of saving Lincoln's life, I truly believe that Lisa's invention is the key of saving him, Lynn Jr. also said. So do I, Lori added. The rest of Lisa's sisters also agreed that Lisa would be given a chance to save Lincoln's life. Rather than letting them succumb to his carnal injuries, Luann still said nothing. She just continued to glare at Lisa with a concept of anger. Luann then, then angered, felt angered by the fact that Lisa had kept his vital piece from the info from her and her other sisters, and even more angry by the fact that her own parents also kept this secret as well. While Luann had a very good idea why they did it, she was still very angry with Lisa and over the fact that, that Lisa and her sisters and even her own parents lied about the uh, the mission of uh, Lincoln's, Lincoln's brain hemorrhage. Oh, I think Lisa deserves this chance to save her brother. We all pitched in to help build the machine, and we're not going to stand here and let Lincoln die, Lenny insisted. Dr. Lloyd then countered his thoughts, wondering what to say. He glanced back at Lincoln, who just stared at every back at everyone else with a confused look, as if he had no idea what was going on. The thought of Lincoln dying at such a young age really upset Lloyd, and even though he lost many patients and due to several severe injuries in the past, if there was a chance that this seemingly impossible invention Lisa was building could save Lincoln's life and possibly save the lives of, the lives of many other people around the world, Dr. Lloyd would want Lisa to at least be given the opportunity to give it a shot. Very well, if there's a chance that the machine could save Lincoln's life, I'm willing to let Lisa give it a go. However, my recent tests and examinations on Lincoln have confirmed that it will have until the end of April to live. Once that time arrives, the hemorrhage in Lincoln's brain will be big enough to effectively kill him. So if you have until the machine is complete by then, and if it isn't, then it will be too late for Lincoln, Dr. Lloyd explained. Lisa then looked very delighted by Lloyd's approval, and so did her parents and her sisters, though Luann still looked very upset about Lincoln's condition, keeping her seek being kept a secret from her. I am honored to have this, this chance. I can assure you that I'll have the machine completed before the end of the month, and my sisters are helping me so the construction should be done even quicker. Lisa said in delight. Then I bid you luck on completing the machine, Dr. Lloyd said. I'll inform the hospital staff and see what they think about this, and they may want to see your invention before the, you they agree to let you use it. I look forward to it, Lisa replied. Several hours later turned around 12 p.m. and back at the Loud House, Lisa was ready to continue on the CNI unit construction in the garage when she heard someone enter. Lisa turned around to see it was Luann. She looked rather upset. Luann, what brings you here? Lisa asked. I think you know it very well, Lisa. Luann snapped coldly. Why did you keep such a vital piece of information secret from all of us? You knew all around about Franklin's, about Lincoln's condi brain condition, and you said nothing in itself to injury? You actually got... Got Lucy, Mom, and even everyone to be silent as well. Why didn't you do such a thing, Lisa? Didn't you we all have think you we have right to know about it? At the time, I learned about Lincoln's brain condition. Everyone was under a lot of stress. Also, if you had known the truth of assisting me in the building this machine, it would have impaired their progress coming this far in the machine's construction. But during the simple turns, everyone knows that they all lost hope for Lincoln. 
and would not give him the chance to at least give my invention a try. You're wrong, Lisa. Mom and Dad didn't lose hope when you told them. Me neither did Lucy. And if you had told us, we would have helped you. It would have basically lied in our mission about everything. Why did you do it, Lisa? Why did you keep the truth from the rest of your own sisters? Luann demanded. I just mentioned the reason onto why, Lisa answered casually, just researching their clipboard and the blueprints. Luann, however, slapped it away and actually grabbed Lisa by the arm, glaring at her. That is not a good enough excuse, Lisa. You always act like this. You are absolutely bound to be determined to, to make us even more miserable than by keeping secrets from us. Do you even care about how the rest of you us feel about this? Above all, how I feel, Luann bowed angrily. The words somehow struck the nerve in Lisa because of demeanor and mood change almost instantly. Is that what you honestly think, Luann? Lisa suddenly snapped. That's what I exactly I think, Luann shot back. Your actions are showing me that you don't seem to be care about the, how the rest of us feel. You kept Lincoln's brain condition a secret, and you got Lucy and our parents to keep me and the rest of the dark arcs in the about it. And while you build this machine of yours, oh, and I need to remind you that you also tried to keep the machine a secret as well. That's why I pretty much uncovered your whole thing and getting you to show it to me and the others. Explain all of this just because you're not caring about the rest of us free. Lisa was only visibly angry with Luann's heartful words, and she roughly pushed Luann away. Dare you dare lecture me on how I should think about the rest of the family, Luann? And let me tell you something, Lisa hissed angrily, sounding more aggressive than ever, and it startled Luann. I care very much about the rest of my family, regardless on how I show my emotions. If you honestly think you have any right to tell me on what is right or wrong, I have something else coming. I am particularly going through blood, sweat, and tears by building this machine to try to save our brother's life and who. Uh, who you may, I may remind you that it isn't a risk because of your actions on April Fool's Day. Luann wanted to argue, but she knew that apart from Lisa mentioning April Fool's Day was true. She couldn't really defend herself there. Then why keep it a safe secret from all of us? Fuss. Why chose to hide this machine for a full day and then reveal it to the rest of us? Why you chose to keep Lincoln's brain condition a secret in the dark until the doctor tells us about it? Why, Lisa? Just tell me why, Luann demanded. Lisa hung her head with anger and then admitted before speaking. You want to know why? She finally said, glaring up at Lisa. Fine, here's the cold truth. Luann, it's because I was furious at you for what you did to Lincoln. And what you did, did because I, did, I don't show my anger directly towards you. And I don't hate you for what you did. But guess what, Luann? I do. And I don't want it, you knowing about it because I was furious yet at you for causing Lincoln's accident. And also because I didn't want to upset the rest of my sisters by giving them the impression of Lincoln might die. I might have emotions too, Luann. But it isn't just that you show them off for it then because, because my mind works. And, and everyone else in my family, Luann, and that includes you. Despite everything that you have done, I still care about you. Luann didn't quite exactly blame Lisa for being so angry for putting Lincoln in the hospital, yet she was much of an excuse to why Lisa kept this vital information a secret until now. Is that so? Well then, if you know really do care about the rest of us, then you should have told us this from the truth from the beginning instead of covering up. That's what families do, Lisa, Luann snapped. I know that, Luann, and I was under a lot of pressure at the time, and I wasn't able to think clearly. And I didn't want to escalate anyone's stress and sorrow, revealing that to be the wrong time. And I wanted to at least have most of the machine completed before I revealed the truth to everyone. But Dr. Lloyd did it instead. Lisa shot back. Luann knew there was no point on continuing the argument since Lisa had pretty much made her point very clear as to why she stayed silent throughout the machine and Lincoln's brain condition. Yet again, it was concerning Luann and as for the machine... Although the Luann did claim that it would be successful to, after several of her test simulations, Luann had no idea if this still meant that there would be problems with the machine itself once it was used in real life and not in viral simulations. And what now, Lisa? You can guarantee that the invention of yours will save Lincoln. What if something goes wrong and it doesn't work? Tell me honestly, Luann questioned. I honestly can't guarantee the machine will work successfully because it's never been used before. While the viral simulations approve this machine to work, there's no guarantee that there might be an unknown known flaws to willing to happen. Reality is so much different when you're viral simulation, and that's why there's a chance to something may go wrong. 
Many scientists have been learned a bit through trial and error, and this one is one of those times, Lisa answered, calming down a bit. You do realize that Lincoln's life is basically gambling with, and you are, if you make one mistake, it would cost him his life, Luann inquired. Yes, I am aware of that, Luann. However, Lincoln doesn't have any other options than this, Lisa replied. If this machine doesn't work, he'll die either way, so this is my only option. There is, there is to just try and save his life. Do you honestly believe that nothing will happen and you're going to use this machine over Lincoln? Luann said, sounding nervous. I don't honestly believe anything bad would happen. But as I said before, this machine has never been used or tested on a human being before. So there is always a chance that something unexpected might occur. Lisa answered. And I can only hope and pray that nothing bad happens when I finally use it on Lincoln. Luann didn't know what to say next. The thought of Lincoln dying from either a brain hemorrhage or the malfunction of the CNI unit terrified her. How could she possibly live of herself if her only brother she had ended up dying because of her actions? Well, it certainly wasn't her intention. Luann just still felt horribly guilty, knowing that Lincoln could possibly die if something went wrong with the CNI unit. Lisa had said to herself that she was also saying the guarantee that something unexpected might occur since this would be the very first time using the machine. He in if it was to be used in surgical procedure. But there wasn't really much to link Luann or anyone else except pray that Lisa's invention actually worked once it was complete. How long will it be until this machine's fully complete? Luann asked. If you and the others pitch in like you have been doing, we should be able to complete it by the end of this week. The only parts I need to be assembled is the main symphonizing unit and the upper rotation arm and make it sensor array and the injector apparatus and then attachable injection needle. The extension of the arm has already been installed along with the lower maneuvering arm, so the machine is very close to completion. Once the other components I mentioned are fully installed, this machine could be finally given as a trial run, which will be on Lincoln, Lisa explained. I assume that you would want to start assisting me on the machine's construction. Absolutely, Lisa nodded. I want Lincoln to much live as much as everyone else does here, so of course I will. I'm glad you're willing to continue assisting me with your help, and of course with your other sisters. This machine will be completed in no time, Lisa said proudly. I just need to help you go and fetch your other siblings so that we can continue working on this machine. All right, I'll do that, Luann said as she headed off to fetch her sisters. It took three hours for Lisa and her sisters to housing all from all the for the main synthesizer unit on the machine. Then Lisa started constructing the main unit itself which proved to be one of the most difficult part of the machine's construction. There was also a lot of wires, mini cross beams, and even various other advanced parts required for every procedure and even for an accurate installation. And this was the main part of the machine's construction from that Lisa's other sisters would do, do as far as advanced be too difficult to do. Darcy has volunteered earlier to assist Lisa in building the machine over that she decided to let Darcy in on what she was doing. However, Lisa warned Darcy not to touch or handle anything unless she gave in an order. Despite being young and slightly naive, Darcy understood how vital this machine components are and also paid for the attention for Lisa's directions. Uh, Lisa, how long did this thing work exactly? Darcy asked, clearly confused on how the CNI unit siphonizer was actually worked. Lisa had been prepared for this slew of questions and knew that Darcy would undoubtedly have due to not understanding the basics of the advanced technology like this. So she did try to explain it the way she could that Darcy would understand. This is a large oval shaped part of the CNI unit with the main siphonizing that unit that replicates millions and millions of microscopic magnites which are injected into the patient's brain although through large and mounted injection needles to spare air damage brain tissue and eliminate the brain hemorrhages. After the magnites are re Repelagin and programmed the container containing them as in the insert in the magnetic canister unit on top of the machine, which is an injection cable attached to it leading to the injection components nits where the, the needle has been attached at the end, Lisa explained. Um, I don't see anything on top, Darcy pointed out. That's because it hasn't been constructed yet, Lisa replied. That part will come after the main siphonizer unit is complete, and after all what's left is the sensor array and the upper rotation arm, the injection of Paris, and afterwards the machine will be fully complete. How will it save Lincoln? Darcy wondered. For all of our sakes, I'm hoping it will, and I have a strong faith that it will, Lisa replied. We're all hoping this machine will save him, Laurie added. 
Darcy did, still didn't understand much about the machine in you know, his inner workings since she wasn't a science ge genius like Lisa. But knowing how smart her best friend was, she was then convinced that this machine would save Lincoln's life. Although Darcy did not know Lincoln as well as she knew Lisa, but she still wished for his recovery as well as everyone else did. Lincoln's been in the dark for far too long, but I have a, still have high hopes that Lisa would bring our brother for back into the light of this machine, Lucy said, as she handed Lisa a small crossbeam which inserted into the welding of the main siphonizing unit by Lana. We all do, Lucy. I am still worried that something might go wrong, but either way, this is the only chance we have saving Lincoln, Lenny replied, fearing for her brother's life. Everyone had agreed, agreed with Lenny on this one. If the machine doesn't work, any hope for Lincoln would be lost, but no one would wanted to dwell on the possibility. They all knew for a fact that there were always to be a chance for something bad might happen, since this was the very first time the CNI unit would be ever used, and the Laos didn't want to give up on hope just yet. They wanted to go through to the bitter end no matter what the outcome is, but none of them seem to know about a, about Lincoln and their lives. But if the machine failed to save them, none of that would matter, at least not yet. If this machine was successful, the medical industry would be recognized resolutionized across the world, and Lincoln would be back to normal again, except for the fact that he'd still be paralyzed from the waist down due to the busted spine. But as long as Lincoln's brain was back to normal again, they couldn't complain about it. They'll all find a way to adapt, because the Loud family never gave up.